It is Labor Day, and today our Sean Stiles is laboring behind the barbecue. Yeah, and it's hot out, but he's joining <laughs> us live from our back lot, which is like a little sauna out there. Yes. With a look at what's on tonight's menu for us. Working hard on Labor Day, Sean. Indeed, indeed. And I got to give props to photojournalist John Steinbaugh for putting up this shade for us to give you a quality shot. I'm going to tell you what we're making. We've got some great things coming your way. And I borrowed this idea from Shannon Handy, who threw a kebab party. I'm making skewers, teriyaki shrimp and top sirloin. I made my flash teriyaki sauce, but you can use store-bought teriyaki sauce. Just put a half a cup of brown sugar into a cup and then go ahead and bring that to a boil. One of the tricks though to doing this is putting the skewers and the shrimp and everything together. Now shrimp's a little more difficult than the sirloin, but what I like to do is use at least 1620s. That means the size. And you just take the skewer and you slide it in like that. Keep your fingers out of the way there and then take the second one and just slide it through like that. So when you put them on the grill, you just flip them over like that, and then you have your skewers. So let me do this top sirloin. This has been marinated in that flash teriyaki for about an hour and a half, two hours. Just punch it through, kind of like you're knitting or sewing, and then you go like that. Now Shannon, what she did is she had her guests go ahead and make up her own kebabs. I'm going ahead and make the kebabs for you. Now what I want to show you is we're going to jump ahead to desserts. I usually use peaches, but this year I'm using some nectarines, and I'm using slightly greener ones. And nectarines are a little bit harder to come off of the, um, off the, the seed here in the center. So I cut around, and then I just break them off like that, and so then I have pretty much a nice big chunk of flesh there. And I go ahead and I slice that up, and then I put it in the marinade. You know, bite-sized chunks, and I've got a marinade of white sugar, or you could use that, like the, the raw sugar. And then I put a third of a cup of that, a third of a cup of orange juice, and then a third of a cup of the uh, triple sec. And I let this marinate for about an hour and a half to two hours. And I like to use slightly green uh, nectarines because they're gonna soak up the acid in the orange and I want them to be firm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain off this beautiful sauce that we've got here. We're not gonna throw that away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put that on the stove. I feel like I'm at Starlight Theater. I should stop talking right now while that plane goes overhead. We're gonna drain that off and I'm gonna put this on the stove and let that simmer and turn into a, a nice glaze. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ice cream that we've had softening up, and this is that 48 ounce, I don't, I don't think they make half gallons anymore. And I'm going ahead and I'm gonna spoon this out into here and get basically two thirds of it into here. You can go all in if you want. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and I pre-sliced my pound cake. I'm gonna take my nectarines, put those back in there, and I'm gonna mix this in gently, as gently as you can with ice cream that you're trying to get to soften up. And I'm, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna layer my pound cake and my nectarines with this ice cream and we're gonna have a pound cake nectarine ice cream cake. So I've got my first layer of pound cake there. And if I can do this all in a minute, it will be a miracle. We're just gonna take that like so and we're gonna put it in and spread it around and I've got a couple more slices of pound cake that I'll put on top of this. And you gotta kinda make a jigsaw puzzle here, back and forth like that. And then we'll take the other two slices and I'm using one whole pound cake. And then we just take our ice cream and nectarines and we can just put that on top. And now I've already got one frozen, so we're gonna do that a little bit later. And I'm coming up a little short on ice cream there, so I'm gonna just cheat and take one more scoop and put it in there, spread that around press it down, and then I'm gonna take my parchment paper and fold it over the top, like so, pop this into the refrigerator, make that the freezer, for at least two hours to let that freeze up. And then, so when we come back in our six o'clock show, we'll take the one that I've already made, we'll slice it this way, and we'll take that glaze that I have, and we'll drizzle that over the top, oh, so yes. you'll have <laughs> you'll have a nectarine vanilla ice cream cake with a little fresh sauce over the top of that. Before that though, we're gonna have a nice corn roasted red pepper salad and the surf and turf teriyaki. So that's all coming your way. 
we'll get some peppers on the grill in the second half hour. I, you know, Chuck, I just have a question for you because every week you do these segments and you just knock our socks off from it was week after week. <laughs> do you ever run out of recipes? <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping well, that there's never a dull moment for you in coming up with a new stuff. That, you know, I spent 18 years in the restaurant business, so there's a lot of recipes uh, back in the old brain here. <laughs> but there's a lot of inspiration out there today. And, and I go out to dinner and I see things that chefs are doing here and up in the Bay Area and in yeah. the Rocky Mountains in the Salt Lake area. And I bring those inspirations back. And that's kind of where I get everything to make it easy, but very, very elegant. You really just hit it out of the park every time. And, and, and you take the edge off today for people who have to work on a holiday. Everybody in the newsroom is so excited they can't wait. So, Sean, yeah. thank you no, for doing I'm that for us today. Because it is hot out there. I get it. It's not the best setup. Thanks, Sean. It is. Yeah.